Hi, hello, welcome to Bilingual Tutorial. This is Maya Anandan. Today our topic of discussion is understanding auxiliary verbs. See, in the playlist Easy Grammar, we have already done this video under the heading Who is Mr. B? So, watch that video at first before we move on to the lesson. So, today we will be discussing textual portion. At first we can see the classifications of auxiliaries. Auxiliaries are broadly divided into primary auxiliary and modal auxiliary. And this primary auxiliary is again divided into do auxiliary, then have auxiliary, then be auxiliaries. Do auxiliaries are do, does and did. Then have auxiliaries are has, had and have. B auxiliaries are B, is, am, are, was, were. Okay. So primary auxiliaries, there is a peculiarity for primary auxiliaries. Primary auxiliaries can act as lexical words. Primary auxiliary auxiliaries can be divided into primary auxiliary and model auxiliary. Model auxiliary and primary auxiliary and under classifications some auxiliaries and other primary auxiliaries they can act as lexical verb. That is complete meaning of the word item verb item primary auxiliaries I do have B auxiliaries in a that's the difference they have between model auxiliaries okay see this examples first one using do auxiliary he did it well here did the null word in a chaydu and the meaning and one the another do in the past form on you see the regular the ingilum chaydu in the or verb meaning and one the regular action the meaning I complete action word I turn a did in the meaning of the one the regular then have I had a cup of tea here had a null word in the meaning could it show in the meaning of the meaning of the action word in the meaning of the meaning of the then see the next one the car is repainted repainted the car repainted chaydu chaydu in the meaning of the meaning is one the reason so namku manisla kam e moon example num do have b auxiliary is on earth the reason that and in these sentences e sentences ila adhina complete meaning and ala de sada auxiliary is pole where a word in the code share the meaning good cool adhina separate any meaning and that is what lexical words and the bar and the meaningful light all the words and the number para another this is the difference primary auxiliary is half with model auxiliary model auxiliary in the primary auxiliary a differentiate in the year peculiarity and so we can see next category model auxiliary see the word model is derived from the word mood mood in the word in the model in the word derives in the region I'm carry a mood in the meaning in the non all other different moods or different emotional feelings so in grammar What's the function of this mood or model auxiliary? Model auxiliaries says about the mood of the sentence or emotional feeling of the sentence. Emotion which shared by the sentence. That is expressed through the model auxiliary. So let's see what are the model auxiliaries and what are its functions in a sentence or what is the mood it shares in a sentence. What is the model auxiliary in other sentences? Okay, let's discuss what are the model auxiliaries. At first we can discuss can and could. Could is the past form of can. Just see what is its function in a sentence or what are its functions in a sentence. Okay, can says about the ability. So we can see this example, I can speak. Here it says, I, I am able to speak English. So can here means I am able. Then see the next example. I could answer all questions but he didn't. Here it, is, it refers to past ability. See I could answer all questions. Enikke ella questions ma answer jayayan pattu ma irunnu. But he did not. Pakshay avena sadhi chirun illa. So here shows past ability. Can and could can be used to express permission. See, can I go to library? Can I? There is a question and it is a request to. 
See, can I go to library now? And it is in present form or present tense. You can leave the class after writing notes. Here this sentence also express permission. It is giving permission. First one is asking permission and second one is giving permission to leave the class. Then see the third one. Could I have your pen? See, here it is not referring to any tense. But this is polite way of asking permission. Could I have your pen in the sentence? Could I have your pen in the sentence? Request you to pen the pen. But can I go to library now? Just request you to pen. It is not that much polite as could. Could you say in that way? Polite I told you way. Can I go to library in that term? Okay. Okay, then see the third mood shared by can. See, it is possibility. It can suggest possibility of an action. See the example. Accidents can happen at any time. Accidents can happen here. So, can happen here. That is saying about a possibility of an action. Could express possibility of something in past. You could want the game. Ningal ka game jayi kya maayirunu. So it is past possibility. Okay. Next it is may and might. We know might is a past form of may. See in which all situation we can use may or might. Or the mood of these words are permission, possibility, sometimes personal wishes. Okay. First one. May I get in expresses permission. Then you may go home. This is also permission. First one was a question. And second one it is giving permission. Okay. Then third one it may rain tonight. This is a possibility or a prediction we are making. In the Ratri Mara Peide Kam. So there is possibility for the rain. Then fourth one may you have the best of luck. So here it is personal wish. We are wishing a person to get his luck so this is wish okay then we can discuss past form of may i asked if i might see him next week this is asking permission i might see him next week so that is permission then the train might be late train later and that is possibility okay Okay, next auxiliary is must. And must gives a mood which is necessity, compulsion, moral obligation. So, see the example. We must obey natural laws. This is necessity. That's why we must here come. Here it expresses necessity. I must finish this video today. Here it is compulsion. Compulsory item, I must finish this video Today, in the Then the vehicle must not be parked in front of office. Here, must not. It is moral obligation. If it is moral obligation, the vehicle must not be parked. Then we must help the poor. This is also moral obligation. We must help the poor. Then another emotional feeling or another mood expressed by must it is fixed determination okay determination also is there we must have our money back so there is such a fixed determination then you must finish this work before five o'clock anjumanike mumba work chaydirikanam so there is determination okay these are the Emotional feeling or mood of the auxiliary must. Some more are there. This much only needed. Okay. Okay. Next it is O2. Next auxiliary it is O2. It suggests moral obligation, desirability, then disapproval in negative form. Okay. So we can see one example for moral obligation. Okay. Dharmiga Bhadhyada. That is moral obligation. Or we can say Chumadala Naka Paraya. So moral obligation. We ought to love our parents. So it's our responsibility to love our parents. Okay, then desirability. You ought to consult a doctor. 
that means it is better for you to consult a doctor nee oru doctor e kaanunnathu aayirikkum nalladhu so it says desirability okay then disapproval disapproval in its negative form ought to inde negative form edukkumbodana disapproval varunnathu you ought not to have gone there pogendadillayirunnu okay then we ought not to walk bare foot okay so these are the moods expressed by the auxiliary ought to next auxiliary is shall normally shall is used along with future tense see assertive sentence in first person expressing future action i shall meet him tomorrow normally shall nammal use cheynathu first person aya first person singular or plural avam i or we agam edinte kude to denote about future action future action e kanikkan nammal i shall cherkarundu normally this is the normal case but we can use shall along with second person and third person second person and third person de kude nammal shall cherkarundu situation will be imperative sentence aayirikkum nu mathram imperative sentences express command order threat promise etc see the examples it express threat command order promise and all so you shall vacate the room before monday this is a threat you shall vacate the room before monday and it is second person he shall do the work that is a command here it is a command he shall do the work you shall pay the bill this is an order likewise in imperative sentence we can use shall along with second and third persons okay okay next auxiliary is will we use will normally along with second and third person future tense future tense ezhudan nammal sadharana second and third person de kude use cheynathu will aanu in assertive sentence see the example he will be here by 10 o'clock then second one anil will reach home now see the second example first example says about future sentence it is a future situation okay then second one he will reach home now this is a belief veetil epo etti kaanum ennallathu oru belief aanu then see the second situation with first person also we use will first person de kude nammal will cherkarundu normally nammal ithiri munbu kandathu pole shall inde kude nammal second person and third person ezhudunnathu imperative form il enna pole first person de kudeyum നമ്മൾ വില്ല് ചേർക്കുന്നത് ഇമ്പറേറ്റീവ് ഫോമിലാണ് ഇമ്പറേറ്റീവ് സെൻറ്റൻസിൻ്റെ കൂടെയാണ് നോക്കുക ടു ഷോ ഡിറ്റർമിനേഷൻ പെർമിഷൻ ട്രെഡ് എക്സെട്ര സോ സീ ദ എക്സാമ്പിൾസ് ഐ വിൽ സക്സീഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് എ ഡിറ്റർമിനേഷൻ ഐ വിൽ സക്സീഡ് വി വിൽ ഹെൽപ്പ് യു ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് എ കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് പെർമിഷൻ വിൽ ഹെൽപ്പ് യു ദെൻ ഓർ എ പ്രോമിസ് വി ക്യാൻ സേ ഐ വിൽ ഡിസ്മിസ് യു ഇഫ് യു ഫെയിൽ ടു ഡു യുവർ ഡ്യൂട്ടി ദിസ് ഇസ് എ ത്രെഡ് i will dismiss you if you fail to do your duty so will will be used along with second and third person normally but in abnormal case or in in the case of uh, imperative sentence we can use will along with first person and just opposite is the use of shall okay see the examples you should consult your parents before you take a decision about it ആ കാര്യത്തിൽ ഒരു ഡിസിഷൻ എടുക്കുന്നതിന് മുമ്പ് യു ഷുഡ് കൺസൾട്ട് യുവർ പാരൻസ് സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് വാട്ട് ദ ബെസ്റ്റ് തിങ് യു ക്യാൻ ഡു ടു ആസ്ക് അഡ്വൈസ് അനദർ സിറ്റുവേഷൻ ഇസ് ടു ആസ്ക് അഡ്വൈസ് ഷുഡ് ഐ ജോയിൻ ഫോർ ദ ജോബ് ദർ ഇസ് ആസ്കിങ് പെർമിഷൻ ഓർ ആസ്കിങ് എൻ അഡ്വൈസ് ഓക്കെ ദെൻ മേക്ക് ടു മേക്ക് എ പൊളൈറ്റ് റിക്വസ്റ്റ് നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഹൗ വി ക്യാൻ മേക്ക് എ പൊളൈറ്റ് റിക്വസ്റ്റ് യൂസിങ് ഷുഡ് i should be grateful if you receive this invitation here should is used to, to express a polite request then to show something expected to happen see the example today is a sunny day the roads should be less crowded ha in the or sunny day ayidond roads should be less crowded road la athra velliya therak undavilla so that is an expectation so these are the situations in which we can use should okay okay next auxiliary it is would would be used to express a wish i wish to see his home here wish is expressed using would 
then second situation to express determination dridada so to express determination i would go in spite of all their protest he, it is the person's determination to go on with his own action without minding others protest mattullavare protest vagavikkade munnotu poganulla aa aalde determination aanu ee would nalla word kondu ivide express cheedirikkunnathu then polite expression to say something politely most politely etto mariyada naranja reethiyil samsarikkanum namukku would use cheyyam would you please help me this is a polite way of asking permission then another one past habit nerthe undayirna habitine kanichu thara on sundays he would go for a walk sundays il nerthe adhe endi yayirunnu nadakkan pogumayirunnu now he don't have such a habit ipo habit illa sundays il nerthe pogumayirunnu okay category of auxiliary it is semi modal auxiliaries why they are semi modal auxiliaries it is because they can be used in two ways namukku rendu reethiyil ave ubhayogikkan kariyunnu sentence il as regular verbs sadharana verb ne pole use cheyan pattunu but not like our uh, primary auxiliary primary auxiliary pole alla regular verb ait ubhayogikkan pattunu then auxiliaries ait ubhayogikkan pattunu regular verb ait nammal ave ubhayogikkumbol they have singular and plural form or ed form that is the difference okay നമ്മൾ റെഗുലർ ആയിട്ട് ഉപയോഗിക്കുമ്പോൾ അവയ്ക്ക് സിംഗുലർ ആൻഡ് പ്ലൂറൽ ഫോമും ഉണ്ട് ദെൻ പാസ് ഫോമും ഉണ്ട് അതാണ് അതിൻ്റെ പ്രത്യേകത ഒരു എക്സാമ്പിൾ പറയാം ദെൻ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ക്ലിയർ ഈ സെമി മോഡൽ ഓക്സിലറീസിന് എക്സാമ്പിൾസ് ആണ് ഡെയർ നീഡ് യൂസ്ഡ് ഓക്കെ ഇതൊക്കെ നമുക്ക് റെഗുലർ വേബായിട്ട് യൂസ് ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ ഡെയേഴ്സ് എന്നും വരും ഡെയർ എന്നും വരും ദെൻ ഡെയേർഡ് എന്നും വരും മൂന്ന് ഫോം നമുക്ക് അതിൽ നിന്ന് തന്നെ ഉണ്ടാക്കാൻ പറ്റും അതുപോലെ തന്നെയാണ് നീഡും നീഡ് എന്നും നീഡ്സ് എന്നും നീഡഡ് എന്നും നമുക്ക് ഫോം ഉണ്ട് സിംഗുലർ ആണെങ്കിൽ നീഡ്സ് എന്നും പ്ലൂറൽ ആണെങ്കിൽ നീഡ് എന്നും ദെൻ പാസ് ഫോം ആണെങ്കിൽ നീഡഡ് എന്നും നമുക്ക് ചേർക്കാം അതുപോലെ തന്നെയാണ് യൂസും യൂസ് ഉണ്ട് യൂസസ് ഉണ്ട് യൂസ്ഡ് ഉണ്ട് ഓക്കെ സോ ഇതാണ് നമ്മൾ സെമി മോഡൽ ഓക്സിലറീസ് എന്നറിയപ്പെടുന്ന ഓക്സിലറീസ് ആൻഡ് വൈ ദർ നെയിംഡ് ഇൻ സച്ച് എ വേ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ബിക്കോസ് ദ ക്യാൻ ബി യൂസ്ഡ് ആസ് റെഗുലർ വേർബ് ആസ് വെൽ ആസ് ഓക്സിലറീസ് സം സിറ്റുവേഷൻ നമുക്ക് അവരെ റെക്കഗ്നൈസ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റണം റെഗുലർ വേർബ് ആണോ ഓക്സിലറീസ് ആണോ എന്നുള്ളത് നമുക്ക് റെക്കഗ്നൈസ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റണം ഓക്കെ ഇൻ സെമി മോഡൽ ഓക്സിലറി ഫസ്റ്റ് വി ആർ ഡിസ്കസിങ് ഡെയർ ഡെയർ ഇഫ് വി ആർ യൂസിങ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എ റെഗുലർ വേർബ് its meaning is have courage or to challenge these are the meaning if we are using it as a regular verb we can see yes or es form will be or ed form will be and one more thing in regular verb form it will be followed with to to will be there following this dare see the examples i dare you to a fight there is to and this is v1 form then he dared to call me here also you can see to and it is past form okay so in these two examples dare is used as regular verb dare regular verb ait upayogikkumbol adinu shesham to ennalla preposition undagum and onigil adu ഡെയർ എന്ന് തന്നെയായിരിക്കും അല്ലെങ്കിൽ എസ് ഒ റി എസ് ഫോമിലായിരിക്കും അതും അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഇ ഡി ഫോമിൽ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഡി ഫോമിൽ ആയിരിക്കും ഓക്കെ ദൻ ഓക്സിലറി ആയിട്ട് യൂസ് ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി വിത്തൗട്ട് ടു ഓക്സിലറി ആയിട്ട് യൂസ് ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ ടു അതിൻ്റെ കൂടെ ഉണ്ടാവില്ല സി ദിസ് എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഐ ഡെയർ നോട്ട് സേ വാട്ട് ഐ ഫീൽ ഫോർ ഹിം ഓക്കെ ഹിയർ വി കുഡിൻ സി ടു എന്നുള്ള പ്രപ്പോസിഷൻ ഇല്ല ഡെയർ നോട്ട് നമ്മൾ ഓക്സിലറീസിൻ്റെ കൂടെ നെഗറ്റീവ് ഫോം എഴുതുന്നത് പോലെ വിൽ ഇൻഡ് ഓർ വോണ്ട് എന്നെഴുതുന്നത് പോലെ ഡോണ്ട് എന്നെഴുതുന്നത് പോലെ ഓക്കെ സോ ഹിയർ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് യൂസ്ഡ് ആസ് ഓക്സിലറി ഡിസ്കസിങ് സെമി മോഡൽ ഓക്സിലറി നീഡ് ആസ് എ റെഗുലർ വർക്ക് ഇറ്റ്സ് മീനിങ് ഇസ് ഇൻ നീഡ് ഓഫ് ഓർ റിക്വയർ സി ഹൗ വി ക്യാൻ യൂസ് ഇറ്റ് ദയർ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ഹാവ് എസ് ഓർ ഇയേഴ്സ് ഫോം or ed form or it will be along with another auxiliaries okay 
and it won't be used in the beginning of the sentence so in this way we can identify is it regular or auxiliary here it is regular verb but we can see how it is used as an auxiliary need i go to school now here it is an auxiliary it begin with need then here also it is an auxiliary because we can see ed form for the verb and we having used the ed form need nu thaniyana use cheyidirikkunnathu and perfect form it is so perfect form of verb is there so and it is used in the beginning of the sentence so we can understand this is auxiliary okay okay the last one it is used to see how we can use used to in a sentence as regular verb as well as auxiliary and it shows past habit or past action here it is past habit okay here in the first example when i was a student i used to write poems here used to is used as an auxiliary because we can see one another verb after that then in the second example i am not used to such treatments here it is used as a regular verb because we couldn't see any other verb after this and one another auxiliary we can see okay so in this way we can differentiate used to as auxiliary and as regular verb and here in today's class thanks for watching